These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <coughs> All right, well, what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here, and today I think I'm doing my review for this new LVE Therion 2. Yeah, it's a dual 18650 DNA 250C. It's carbon fiber. It's leather. I kind of believe this to be actually really, truly carbon fiber. I've felt a lot of devices in my day, and I've felt a lot of fake carbon fiber, simulated carbon fiber. Sometimes it's just a sticker. Sometimes it's a thick sticker. Sometimes the sticker is so thick that it can kind of convince you that it's real carbon fiber. But from everything I know, this feels like real carbon fiber and real leather. It's soft, but it's not very squishy in any way. It's the theory on hand form, you know? The form factor's out of control. For finger people, the, the perfection. It's that C-frame design. Whoops! Get that ribbon in there. C-frame design, and it just feels comfortable. It just works. This is the Zoo One. It's just a little single coil banger on top. It's a 0.25, 55 watts. Plenty of power, never a lack of power, never a lack of battery life. It, uh, it, it's great. It's just great. I like holding it. I don't generally like carbon fiber. If I'm being really honest, I find carbon fiber a little bit tacky. I think it looks dope on this though. I think the blue and the carbon fiber, something about that combo really looks slick. I love to see this. I just wanna say, I love to see this overall. A new dual 18650, you know, it's a DNA 250C, so it's gonna do everything the DNA 250C can do, which is, 250 watts, it has replay mode, it can do a full temperature control, whatever anyone uses for temperature control, this will do it. I am but a simple wattage vapor, so for me, it's always on watts or watt boost, and that's kind of it. I truly and honestly love almost, oh, did you just hear my dog? <laughs> Nico, what are you doing? I truly and honestly love almost, almost everything about this. There's just one tiny little gripe that you know, it is a tiny little gripe, but it kind of t turns into a bigger gripe. But before that, whoa, did you see the packaging this comes in? It's honestly really slick, shiny, gold, very classy. Feels a little bit like the Lament configuration, like Pinhead's gonna come cut my dick off. Good presentation, solid instruction manual. The accessories it comes with is a USB-C cable and also a USB-C to micro USB converter because this isn't USB-C. I'm gonna have to ding it for that. And back to my original gripe. Listen. Oh, it's painful. It's painful play. There is a noticeable play and wobble on this door. I can feel it. I can hear it. It's noticeable, like I can visibly see the door rising up back and forth on here past the edge. I notice it when I handle it, when I vape it, I feel it moving, I hear it clicking, and that, man, that bums me out more than anything. This is a new LVE Dual 18650 mod. You know, I wanna love it. I wanna just give it 10 banana stickers and tell everybody, yeah, this is a no brainer. It's awesome. It is pretty awesome and mine, and I can only speak to mine and what is in front of me has loads of play. Maybe this is like a, an isolated incident. It feels like too much play, like this should have never gone out the factory door. Because of that, because of the micro USB on the front, I think I have no choice. Oh man, I don't want editing guy to yell at me. I think I have no choice. I'm gonna say at least seven and a half banana stickers. Hey, like I said, it's a new theory on, you know, it's LVE, dual 18650s and DNA 250Cs and RDAs and RTAs and stuff on top. This is the vaping that is the hobby vaping that I feel a lot of people are into. So I should be excited about this because these are a little bit more of a rarity these days, but the play on the door, it's just there. I, I can't change that. Okay, hi, it's Editing Guy, and shortly after this video was edited, I discovered that I could kind of control it. What I did is I took the door and I squeezed it a little bit. I'm trying to bend it into shape, and now I can stick it on there, and the play is eh, still a little clicky in my hands, but it is severely, severely dam diminished. It's not perfect 
but it is severely diminished. I'm still very upset that this is not a USB-C on the front, and even though I was able to slightly fix my door, I still completely lost a magnet out of the bottom of my door, and that bums me out, and it doesn't stay on as well now. I think my banana sticker remains. If anything, I might just bump it up to like eight banana stickers, call it good. I guess that's just the risk you run doing a C-frame. Anyway, the other eye's gonna finish the video. I wanted, I wanted this to be perfect. I wanted it to be great. I wanted it to be the legend has returned. It should have been the legend has returned, not the legend has returned, but now there's play on the door. This is rambling and I'm sorry. I can't tell you exactly where to get these and I can't tell you how much they cost, but I would be surprised personally to see these for more than $170. If you're watching this and you still smoke combustible tobacco cigarettes, hi, it's time to switch. I believe in you. Literally all the science says you should and it's never been easier. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I'm gonna put some links to just science, just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke so.